Okay, so we're going to do a review of Chiefy from our last scrim, the internal scrim. This is the first map Oasis. So, if I refer to me or myself, I'm talking about Necro 913 on Team 2. Uh, the song I'm going to get in the habit of. And we're watching Chiefy on Team 1 right now. He is our main tank player, and he is Heroic's main tank starter. So right off the bat, uh, Echo, new hero, first time that basically any of us have played around it, and that does kind of screw with Team 1 a little bit, they're not, they're not sure how to deal with it, and we actually had to have a pause there, it's not shown in the recording, but that's the reason why everything kind of froze for a second, but Chiefy gets here first, Team 1 gets here first, and they give up, basically, okay, all of this space. They could have taken all of this because they were here first. And given that they have the Pharah, that would have been extremely good because the Pharah would have been able to poke down into those archways. You can't really see the one behind Chibi's hammer, but we would have been forced to use cooldowns. That's why you want to push up when you have a chance to. Because you, don't, you do not want to give space for free. You want to make... Uh, Hayden use his abilities, his bubbles. You want to give get free time on the point while they while the healers try to heal up, say the Reinhard. Like this, they are get, doing poke damage. Super Crusher is like over in that corner over here, so he is doing damage, but they are still giving space for free. Now let us, as you can see. When Team 2 gets to the point, they just start to take all that space. And then, just by getting their first Team 1 is pushed off of the point. And now they are the ones that have to engage. And Team 2 has a very explicit defender's advantage now. As you can see, I was already there waiting for Chiefy as he engaged. He goes down. Slayerman gets 2. I get 1. Now, Super Crusher actually starts to trade it back. He gets, I believe, 2 here. Now, well... Soul Shaker gets hated. And now, that should have been a cap for Team 1. I'm, I'm not quite sure why it wasn't, but they are even now, as Team 2 is still waiting for one person to respawn. But the bubble comes out really early from Chiefy. Or from Soul Shaker, which means Chiefy just goes down. I know that I can engage on him without the protection. And Ayato here is actually going to try to res. She's going to get pinned. Kind of an unfortunate uh, pin. I didn't think it was going to pin. It did. And now... Now, this is a really good place to hold because we can't... We could push them here. In theory, we could. We're not, but they don't have to give up. They don't have to give up space, and we can't push their space for free. We should have been pushing higher up. We had the numbers advantage, but they also had this Pharah, which makes it extremely easy to punish us for moving too, too, too far in. Chiefy moves in here. He goes for a charge here, which I think is really questionable. He is not with his team. I have support. I get a shatter here. I put like, I put at least two on the floor. Maybe it was just one. I'm not sure. And this happens. I honestly wasn't quite sure what was going on. All I know is that Team 2 won the fight. And what actually happened was Echo can copy a player on the enemy team. And uh, Slayer Man copied Super Crusher, who was on Pharah, who's going to now switch to McCree. It's a good swap. The Pharah wasn't getting that much value, especially versus Bob May's McCree. As you can see, I was pushed all the way up to those arches to make them use abilities trying to get in. The sh GP shield is going to go down immediately. He's going to get a good shatter. The problem is he pushes me into this room. As you can see, there was four red players here and no blue members. So he moves in. He does not get any kills off of his shatter. And because he was all alone because he didn't have the support of his team, the bubble was out super early. But he will get rezzed. And with me jumping off the map and a, and a good pin onto uh, Rumble there, and Salt Shaker taking down, or not Salt Shaker, Super Crusher taking down Bob May, this is going to be a one fight as Team 2 should just back out here. 
there's nothing they can do. But now they cannot lose a fight. It's at 99%. And and so something I, something that Ayato ended up calling out eventually is that is like what I was saying. They're giving up all of that space for free. And from this archway, you can see all the way down into their spawn room from either side. And all of that space should not be free. They should be forcing us to take cover, to heal, to use Hayden's bubble abilities, to maybe force out an immortality field. But they're not. They're, they're hanging back on point. Actually, not even at the gates to point. They're not even at the gate to point. They're all the way back in the middle of it. And they're just giving so much space for free. Ready. You can see right here is where Ayato says that they shouldn't be back there. The problem is that we are already at... Team 2 is already at the archway. And now they can't. Uh, now they basically gave up the entire space for free. Both bubbles out early from Salt Shaker. But also both bubbles out early from Hayden. Means that it's a good time to grab... He should have charged there. He should have charged me instead of swinging. Because he knows there's no bubbles. That should have been a kill onto me. Unfortunately, that was a really good set play from Team 2. Bob May was able to use his ultimate, get four kills, and that's the end of the fight. That's the end of that point. They should have switched off the Mercy, something that Ayato points out herself is that she should have switched off the Mercy earlier. As with Chiefy's playstyle, this healer composition is not healing him enough, especially once they switch off the Vera onto the McCree. Keep training, and maybe someday you could learn to handle a real weapon! <laughs> Get Kamer doesn't look so careful. Additionally, I, I would say that they were having a lot of trouble dealing with this Echo, which is something that I was saying from the beginning. And I would say that for the most part, their DPS line is pretty good. The soldier should, the soldier and soldier seventy six and McCree should be able to put a lot of pressure on an Echo who just floats around in the sky, as these two are what's called hit scan. So when they shoot, their bullet instantly goes to like essentially where they're aiming. So they should be able to just take down the Echo. Unfortunately, Shotaro is using a controller and not a mouse and keyboard, so her aim isn't quite as good. But still, yeah, Super Crusher should be able to deal with the uh, Echo. They're actually going to switch off the soldier here, if I remember correctly, and go Reaper, which is fine. It's basically going to be a mirror. Bob May is going to switch back to the McCree at my request, but... Except for the support line, this should be a good composition. They make it to point first, and they decide, and instead of, because of the Lucio, they have a speed boost, so they make it to point first. Team one makes it to point first. Now, they had an option there, which was to either push us up on the high ground, or go to point and have early control. They chose to go to point for early control. And it's not an awful idea, it gives them the defender's advantage. It makes it so that we have to be the aggressors. And without a Lucio on our team, that's going to be really hard for us. We can't speed. Our immortality field already comes out. This is exactly what I was talking about before, is that we are able, is that they are able to pressure us. Now, Chiefy steps back to heal, to recharge his shield, which is fine. But the point unlocks. It takes 30 seconds for the capture point to, to unlock. And once it unlocks, they need to be holding here. Because we have to aggress. They want to have first capture. Even if they lose the fight, they'll get a good 20%, 20 seconds on the point. The problem is that they are all hanging way back here. Uh, you can see Salt Shaker is behind Chiefy. You do not want to give up the space. They want to have the first cap. They want to be holding all the way up here. And as you can see... Chiefy tries to do, I guess, a sneaky move where he hides here and once we aggress, because we don't want to give them the cap for free, he, ch he uses his charge ability, hits someone with a pin, hits the wall, and takes down, say, Cyclops immediately. A 5v6, they should win this fight. The problem is, with this strategy, is we don't have a Lucio. We don't have this hero over here on Team 1, what Chuckles is playing. 
And if we don't have a Lucio, we don't have what's called this. We don't have a speed boost, which means we don't move fast. So we're going to still be about here as Chiefy charges in. You can see I'm all the way out here already. I tried to move in. I have a bubble though. So even if he pins me, it's not going to kill me. It's not going to do any damage to me. As you can see, he missed completely. There's no uh, squishies. Squishies are characters with low health. That's going to be... I need to change the color of my cursor. That's going to be any of these two heroes, Bob May or Slayer Man, or Rumble or Tyson Cyclops. None of the squishies are there. Nobody would have died from that charge because we don't have the speed boost. We don't have the engage. And now that he's all the way out there, with no support, because the bubble already came out, it broke instantly. Ayato tries to save him. You can see her get on the heels, but there's no way to save him at this point. He went in too aggressive, and he got punished for it. And that's going to be the end of the fight. I will not give up the fight. It's a nice exit kill from uh, Super Crusher onto Slayer. Actually, I believe it was Bob May and Slayer Man. He got two of them, which is really nice because that means we can't push up to here or here. We can't. And because they're holding here, we can't even send one or two people up. So we have to give up this space for free. They go through the room here, they run through the room. Which is fine. We weren't there to contest them. Chiefy charges in, which is questionable. He did not have the support of his team. He is going to get res, but given that there's no shield, Bob May is just going to get an easy kill on to Super Crusher. That was a good time. That was a well planned shatter. He saw I charged into this room here. So there was no shield in front of Rumble, uh, Tay Cyclops, or Hayden. Problem is, the rest of his team is dying. Salt Shaker's dead. Super Crusher's dead. That is a glitch right there. And they already used res. So they get one back kill. But Chiefy's going to go down very fast here without the support of the rest of his team. As you can see, there's only three of them left. Short is going to go down. And that's going to be it. Ayato's going to get staggered out here, which is pretty bad for Team 1. They're going to have to wait a while. And now, you can see what I mean here. You can see, I'm going to go farther. Team 1 pushing all the way up to here. A little farther back, but that way they're t doing damage. You can see Shotaro and uh, Super Crusher are taking damage. They're going to make the team want to wait till everyone's fully healed so that they can engage. Super or Salt Shaker might even have to use some abilities here. This is the idea of pushing up, something that team one did not do when the, on the first map. And now, even though they're going to go through the room here, we know that they're going through the room because we, we were there. We were watching them. You can see Super Crusher. I don't, I don't know if they communicated that they were going through the room because Super Crusher went through the arches. He's in main, what we call main. And as you're going to see here, he's going to die really fast because he was alone. This could have been a good press. Super Crusher was alone out here. Everyone but Hayden. Only, you can kind of see it through Chiefy's body. He's right here. Only Hayden888 is on the point. So, if the rest of his team was following him, Team 1 should have just been able to take out Hayden, make it a, four, a 5v5, an even fight, and they would have had point control. Because they would have all been here, we would have all been out here. The same situation as the first fight that they lost. Now here, Hayden has his own bubble. Looks like only Chiefy's actually moving on to him. Shotaro definitely should have been on Hayden right now. And with Hayden and with Chiefy trying to kill Hayden, I'm gonna get a free shatter. I'm gonna put three of them on the ground. And we're gonna kill the rest of them. They're not even gonna get an exit frag this time. They did get Slayer Man to use his ultimate which was not the smartest use. Hello. But unfortunately for Team 1, 
<laughs> there's still four ultimates on the side of team two. There's almost no way for them to win this fight anymore. And it's last fight territory. 85, they only have 15 seconds to touch the point. And the problem with that is that they're going to have to rush to it. And the fastest way to point is by going through the room. That drive is awful. And as you can see, Team 2 is all camping this room. We know that they're going to go this way. So, at 99%, Chiefy jumps onto the point. And the problem is that there is no longer a shield in front of the rest of the team. And so, Team two, Team 1 gets completely wiped by Team 2. Only one kill on the side of Team 1. And that's going to be the end of the match. Uh, I don't think it was awful from Team 1. I think that, and something that I was hearing, is that Chiefy was not communicating when he was putting his shield down when he was going in, and that's why he didn't have the support of his team at all times. So that's definitely something he should be doing more of, is telling his team when he's going in. That gives me free chances to get, to sneak damage past him. It gives the DPS players free stand. Uh, free opportunity to sneak the damage past him, and it makes it so that the rest of his team is one step behind him. So that abilities like Immortality Field, or even Bubbles that you would have liked to save, have to be used to save Chiefy instead of to engage.